often, unfortunately, is, is, is in the wrong place. And there are too many twists and turns of the river before we can get to the sea. And so within four years, they realise this. And so the Darlington contingent um, decides that it's going to build the world's first railway suspension bridge over the Tees into um, the St Hilda's area of Middlesbrough, um, which it calls Port Darlington, as Darlington is the centre of the railway universe. So this is where Middlesbrough comes in, and Middlesbrough is a, another direct creation of the railway. The river is improved, so you can bring big vessels in, and you, and you think, well, hang on a minute, why don't we put the railway down there? This 1829 suspension bridge is designed by Captain Samuel Brown, who is um, the expert in this newfangled technology of suspension bridges. It isn't a, a particularly successful suspension bridge because when it is opened, uh, the first train across it um, causes the pillars on either side to rock and to crumble. The deck moves up, in, uh, swells up in the middle, so there's a little kind of um, a wave of deck moving in front of the train as it goes across and the engine drivers become really suspicious of this bridge so for the next couple of years as they approach it they uh, set their speed to crawl they then jump out and they run across the bridge themselves and then stand at the other side and wait as their engine slowly crawls across the bridge rattling and shaking from the weight and then once it's over they safely climb on board and carry on down to the stays at Port Darlington. So this is where you see the Stockton and Darlington cease to be the Stockton and Darlington in all but name, but the extension of the railway onto the, the port of Middlesbrough and the creation of the massive industrial enterprise that Middlesbrough was and still is.